Hi, I'm Ruth and I'm speaking from my studio or my channel, Get Quilts Done. And today I want to talk about magnifying glasses and how I use them and why I use them. And I'm going to start with why. Uh, I started using magnifying glasses quite a bit when I work, not only when I sew, uh, maybe 30, 40 years ago when I started keeping a pain journal and I would write down whenever my back or my shoulders hurt and what I was doing. And I discovered I was slouching a lot when I was sewing. And upon that discovery, I started using more and more uh, magnifying glasses. So the tendency to slouch was not there. I also put on a timer and I would see how I was working after I got the magnifying glasses and this really solved the problem. Upon getting a uh, Bernina, of course, I got an accessory specially made for the machine and I haven't looked back ever since. I would recommend doing this, not only for uh, eye strain, I've had glasses since I was a little girl, but also to make sure that you don't have that tendency to slouch down to get a better look at it. And also it just makes it more pleasant. Uh, it, when we work in a way that we don't have pain and that we feel good and we can work longer or uh, get things done faster. We just enjoy the process a lot more. So let's take a look. Okay. <laughs> All right, so first I wanna explain why you're looking at a book even though I have this. I wanna explain that this kind of an accessory actually has two different categories. You have the bar that sticks onto your sewing machine and depending on which Bernina sewing machine you have, that your dealer will sell you the correct bar and uh, I would recommend having them uh, attach it to the sewing machine. Then there's the important part. <laughs> I guess all of it's important, but for us, what, you're, what you do is you attach whichever one of these you want to use. You can see there's three different magnifying glasses and there's a handle. There's five, six, and seven. And uh, right now on the screen, you can see the difference. There's a picture, there should be a picture going on. And you can see the difference uh, that you basically see more with less strength. So the five, without moving anything um, and keeping it at the same angle, the five you see more before you of the actual project. And that's why I usually use five. And a lot of people who try using these and they don't like it, they don't realize that they have the option to work with different sizes and it really makes a difference which size you use. And uh, also there's a handle. So now I'm gonna show you how it works and uh, why I use the five is just personal preference, but you could use something else. I usually use the seven uh, with the handle on it. Here we are with the seven, the size seven. I just attach this and I put it on like so. And this stays that way because that's how I use it. Sometimes I grab it and I wanna hold on to the magnifying glass. Here they all three of them are and the seven has the handle on it. And the reason why I'm showing it to you is I wanna explain a, this is a really good system that I've gotten together. It's taken me a while. My uh, magnifying glasses, I've had them in so many years, I think maybe 30 years and maybe longer, and they're scratched up and I didn't want, want to replace them until I found a way of keeping them at, on the side and grabbing them with something that won't fall over and will keep it from getting scratched up. I will leave a link to this. This is the, um, if you could read it right here, it's the stash and um, stash and store, and it's the mini version. And the reason why I want the mini is I want it to be used only for that. And I would recommend getting it or some kind of a system so you have them at hand. So I'm just getting ready to sew uh, right now. Here is the bar that you saw the picture on after it's attached. I am going to, like I said, take the five and put it on and just sew a bit with it. And uh, right now I'm going to close up of it somewhere. Okay. So I don't know if you can see the five. 
yeah I think you could barely see it it's got this little point here this little round thing it's not really a point it's kind of like a smudge mark but it's permanently in there and it's good for grabbing a hold of it so you don't get make a mess of it so you basically put it on you take this out a little bit the screw you take it on and you set it up and that's the other thing I would recommend playing with how you like it I like it pretty flat so I see a lot going on here so I can only see the needle going in that's how I like to work with it uh, it's really a good system that way and if you pay attention uh, uh, when you're sewing you get to how you're working you could it without it you could adapt to it and I would really recommend it I don't use it for quilting I do use it like I said for fancy stitching and definitely for uh, piecing small little quilts Wow this is just amazing so I'm just gonna set this machine up and I have it on black thread and the reason why I have it on black thread uh, because usually when I'm sewing I want people to see it but I want black thread is harder to see and that's the main reason why I'm doing this. So I'm just going to sew it just a bit and uh, get it going. And it's kind of hard to sew <laughs> with a camera here, but uh, we'll get through it. And I'm not starting at the end. I'm just going through. You can see, I can see the edge and it's kind of hard because I'm looking uh, through this, but I could get really exact because look at how much bigger it looks than when I don't have it on. If I just take it off, yeah, and you can see it all gets smaller. And so the, uh, the tendency to slouch is bigger. Okay, so I'm just gonna get out of it. I'm not gonna do a whole line. Uh, how to do it, cutting it, and then I'm going to show you the last thing of what I do. So I took off the five and I put it down. That's what I'm trying to get in the habit of stop doing. I take the six because that's my favorite. You could have a different one and I put it on again, but notice I'm putting it on in a different way. Okay. And the reason I'm doing that is because is we all know an important part of sewing and good workmanship is taking out threads. So that's what I'm going to show you. A lot of people don't know that you can just flip it the other way. Yeah. Okay. And because I'm on camera, everything is more difficult because that's the way this works. And usually it goes smoothly because I've had this for a long time, so it's second nature. There we go. Okay, so it's not gonna move. And I'm gonna show you why this is so convenient. And this is the six. You could also go up to the seven or just keep with the five. I want to rip this out. I don't like it. And my biggest problem with ripping things out, of course, is black threads are always the hardest on me. And you can see, this is a lot better to see okay if I was to bring it in you can see how much uh, better you can see if I am uh, ripping this out okay and of course it goes a little difficult but you could see you have a lot more vision and if I was day and it's stuck in there so my hands I have two hands while I'm using a magnifying glass and then if I just take this off, you can see it just gets smaller. And of course, you can use whichever size you feel comfortable with. I use the six. I want it to be closer. I could move this around like that. Or sometimes what I do is I just take like my sticky notes or something and I put it on there. And you could see I get really close that way. And uh, I just, I get really close and I have two hands and it's really easy to see and really easy to do. And it's a lot easier to do without the camera in front of me. All right, so we're at the end. I really hope that this helped. I really hope that if you have the magnifying glasses and you haven't used them, give them a second chance. If you're interested in using them, I really hope that you take a look at them, go to your dealer 
and uh, see if it works for you. I'm really good uh, at trying things, being real good at trying things like I am that are really important for your back. Not only for making the next project, the next quilt, and the, the next uh, type of thread, also things that will make you feel better, like magnifying glass. If you like what you saw, subscribe. I'm gonna have a video about using scissors and uh, or um, shears, tailor shears specifically. I'm going to uh, have, I have other ideas that things are gonna come out. Like, if you like it, uh, definitely press like. If you, uh, if you want to see something else and you're interested in it, I'll read in the comments. Um, I'll be glad to. I'm always looking for good ideas and uh, leave comments. Okay. Thanks for stepping by. Bye.